most of us don't realize how impressive this M2 Mac Mini is. Imagine bringing the entire workflow for $600 or around 54,000 Indian rupees if you are living in India. Whether you are working in office or creating presentation at home for delivering lectures or video editing in Final Cut Pro for YouTube or Instagram. I was thinking of investing in a computer and can handle the kind of work that I do smoothly so that I can manage multiple workflow without any hiccup. Since I am not a full-time YouTuber and I need to effectively manage time to create these beautiful videos, hence my computer should be smooth and fast to do those work. After a bit of research, I settled to buy the M2 Mac Mini. I was a bit skeptical about buying this because this will be my first time using Mac. But finally, I did it. This is the base model M2 Mac Mini as you can see it here. The unboxing experience is quite simple. When you first unbox this, the first thing that you will notice is the Mac Mini itself. The Mini looks beautiful. Then it's time to peel the plastics from the back and the side. You'll get to see some guides and an Apple sticker and a power cord. And that's all in the box. I have placed the Apple sticker behind my iPad to give it a MacBook feel. I have created a video how to use Mac Mini as a laptop using iPad. You can find the link in the upper right corner and also in the description box below. It is a portable machine easy to carry anywhere you go. Hardware wise the base model is fantastic and all this can be brought for as low as $500 or 50,000 Indian rupees if you are a student. And what you'll get is the latest M2 chip with an 8-core CPU and a 10-core GPU, 8 GB of RAM paired with a 256 GB of SSD storage. This M2 chip is responsible for delivering two Thunderbolt 4 ports so you can enjoy faster transfer speed, high pixel density monitors up to 6K and a refresh rate of 60Hz. If you end up pairing one of those ports with the HDMI 2.0 port, you can rock up to two monitors within your setup. M2 is also responsible for handling an Ethernet port, a 3.5mm headphone jack and a couple of USB ports. If you prefer rocking wireless peripherals with Bluetooth 5.3, it will definitely save you a ton of headaches. In other words, 5.3 is latest Bluetooth version and also focuses on minimizing interferences. Meaning that if you are connecting multiple number of devices with the Bluetooth, the performance of the connected device will not get hindered and you can work with it without any problem. This M2 Mac Mini also have Wi-Fi 6E but I haven't tested it out since I don't have Wi-Fi 6E routers and I believe most of you watching this video won't have Wi-Fi 6E router. So this is all about the hardware. Now let's jump into the performance part. Now let's talk about the performance of this machine. I am not a professional tech YouTuber, so I won't go too technical about the Geekbench scores and the numbers and comparing one processor with the other. I won't do that. I'm a physics professor and my workflow is pretty simple. What I do is I create a presentation using this machine in softwares like Canva or Microsoft PowerPoint or Keynotes. And what I can say is that all these softwares perform super super smooth in this machine. Now opening multiple tabs in Safari and opening a reference video in YouTube side by side, this machine can handle all these things like a charm. Being a content creator, I'm using this machine currently as my video editing machine. And what I can say is this machine just flies when it comes to video editing. The video that you're watching right now has been edited on this machine on a 4k timeline and what i can say is that working on the timeline cutting the timeline and scrubbing through the timeline is super super smooth hence making the task of editing super super enjoyable you can save a lot amount of time while editing on final cut pro because this software doesn't crash like premiere pro i used to be a windows user where i used to edit these videos on premiere pro and most of the time it used to crash but there's no such problem here everything runs super smooth the only problem is that you need to learn this software if you're coming from premiere pro other than that this thing just flies when it comes to video editing the thumbnail that you have seen for this video has been edited on this machine you can edit photos in lightroom and photoshop all those things and all the softwares run super smooth on this machine so what i can say is that if you have a workflow similar to that of mine then you can definitely buy this machine and i can say that this is one of the best machine within this price range if you want to test out the mac operating system for the first time then this is the best machine that you can invest into so yeah this is all for this video if you enjoyed this video then please give it a 
the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to this channel then please consider doing so i'll catch you all guys in my next video till then bye bye